Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and I make videos on all things lifestyle and design. Today's video is going to be part one of my living room makeover. Obviously makeovers take a long time, so it's not gonna happen in one weekend, but this is gonna be the start of it. And then there will be future videos where I'm doing more DIYs and like styling of the room. So this video is just gonna be the start of the makeover. It's gonna be like laying the groundwork, getting some furniture out, bringing some other furniture in, and then going from there. Okay, so here's the deal. In my last apartment, all the furniture that I had was very modern. I had a lot of like metal, a lot of black, a lot of glass. Everything was very clean lines and it looked really good in that apartment. But when I bought this house two years ago, I mean, it's completely different. This house is a hundred years old. There's the, you know, original hardwood floors. There's the wood trim around everything and bringing really modern furniture into a really old house just didn't work. Everything just looked kind of out of place. So then to remedy that, I brought in this old dresser behind me just because it was old. So like it fit the house and I tried to tie it in with like my modern furniture to make it look less, less awkward, but it really just looks very hodgepodge together. Like it just, nothing is that great here. So this is what I'm gonna to try to do in this video and in this series is I'm going to try and find a balance between like styles that I really like and what realistically is going to look good in this house and will allow me to incorporate the furniture pieces that I already have because I don't wanna go buy a bunch new of new furniture, obviously. So the styles that I really like and that I'm going to shoot for here are I really like the like Scandinavian Nordic style because it's really warm and cozy and inviting, but there's also the furniture is very minimal and clean lines, which allows me to keep a lot of the furniture that I already have. And then I also really like um, warm industrial. So that allows me to keep using this black metal that I have, which is great, but then I can like warm it up a little bit and bring in some different like textures and throw pillows and blankets and stuff that just make it a lot cozier and warmer in here. And then I think I'm gonna mix in a little maybe mid-century modern because I really like that as well, but maybe just like a little taste of it because I don't want it to be too, too Scandinavian or too industrial. So I'm gonna mix like just a little bit of something else in there. So, um, We'll see, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully this works out and looks like how I'm picturing in my head. Let me show you what the living room looks like now. It's really bad, but let me show you so you can see what we're working with. Okay, so this is the very bleak beginning of this living room makeover. Here is just a really dark gray couch. And then like I said, there is a lot of black and a lot of glass going on here. And then like this old lamp, that doesn't match anything. <laughs> and then here is the coffee table from my old apartment. So it's black and glass. And then we also have another black and glass table over here. And this is actually really nice because this pulls over the couch. So you can use that as like a desk while you sit on the couch. So that's really cool. Now this corner over here, there used to be a yellow chair in this corner that I got rid of. I kept the ottoman because I want to reupholster that and use it to like, it's really nice to use with your couch to like turn it into a chase lounge, like when you're watching a movie or whatever. So I kept the ottoman. And then here are the two new rugs that I got for this makeover that I'm gonna have to unroll later. And then here is that entertainment center, which again, I do really like. It is super cute, but it just does not match my style or what I want my living room to look like anymore. So that's going to be switched out. And then over here is Lily's dog cage, which is just really just an eyesore. And I'm hoping the new entertainment center, I'm hoping that I can fold that up and put it under there so I don't have to look at it all the time. And then today I'm going to start with getting a new entertainment center. 
and choosing a rug. And then we're just going to do like DIYs from there on out to make it like tie in. So there we go. Say ready, Lo. You ready? Okay, let's get started. Okay, so it is a few hours later now, although it's Michigan, so it's already pitch black outside, so don't mind my artificial lighting going on here. But we moved in this entertainment center and also a treadmill that took like two hours to move in and put together because it was just... Pivot! Pivot! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! not easy it's not easy it's not fun but anyways everything is in now so now I'm gonna start working on the entertainment center so this is a I think it's called the besta is how you pronounce it from Ikea so I got that which obviously fits the Scandinavian Nordic style that I'm going for and then to bring some of my other styles into it I got this metal hairpin leg off Amazon so these bring in like the shape, the hairpin leg is very mid-century modern. And then the black metal obviously is very industrial. So it ties in the other styles that I wanted into this entertainment center. So I'm gonna put these on. I'm just, I measured so that it's two inches from each corner. So I'm gonna put these on and hope that it looks good. So let's do that. I never know when I'm using drills. They're going in or out. I know. We're about to find out. Okay, so it is officially day two of the living room makeover. The entertainment center got put up last night. It's a little unsteady, especially with those hairpin lugs that I put on it. It definitely needs a little more support before I start putting a TV on it. So I ordered some wall mounting things from Amazon. So I need to wait for those to get here tomorrow before I can actually put the TV or anything on the entertainment center. So for right now, this is how it is. And it is officially time to decide on a rug. Okay, so both of these rugs I got from BoutiqueRugs.com and they had a 60% off sale when I got these. So I got, the rugs that I got are just over seven feet, or sorry, just under seven feet by nine feet. And the first one that I got is the Parker Field rug. This one is, has a lot of cream and gray in it, but it also has a little more of tan and warmer tones to it. And this one was originally $415 and I got it for $166. So the other one that I got was the Rachel area rug and this one is like cream and gray so there's no warm tones in this one and the same size is originally $385 and I got it for $154. Those are really good rug prices. Rugs are expensive especially this size of rug is normally you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars so to get them both for like around $150 was good with that that's why i decided to order both and then just return which one i didn't like because i didn't want to miss the 60 percent off sale so if you are looking to shop for rugs check out boutiquerugs.com and just wait for them to have a sale because 60 percent off is a big deal so let's start unrolling these and see what they look like i'm going to start with the rachel area rug this is the cheaper one and you can kind of tell even in the way that they're wrapped this one isn't holding its shape white as well as the other one. I think this one, it must be thinner and the other one is gonna be like more plush. So I'm kind of hoping I really like the design of the like thicker one better. So we'll see, but for right now, we're gonna start and put the Rachel area rug down. So this is the first rug here. This is the Rachel rug. It definitely, the coloring is good. It's just cream and gray. So it does match the couch really well. I don't know about the entertainment center. Okay, so I think we have a clear winner here. This rug is really nice because it has the cool tones and the warm tones in it. Like there's the cream and the gray, but then there's a brown tan color 
which helps being my room already has so many cool and warm tones mixed together. So I think it looks good with the couch. And I'm still trying to think of whether or not I'm really happy with this. It bothers me that the wood doesn't match the floors, but I also really like this entertainment center and I don't, I really don't want to paint it because I like it. I have heavy things trying to weigh down and flatten out this rug. I think this is going to be my favorite one. Look at her. She's so cute. Okay, guys. Well, I think this is going to conclude part one of my living room makeover. I am not 100% decided on the rug yet. I'm leaning towards the Parker Field rug, but I'm going to sit with both for the rest of the day and try and decide which one I really like better. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure that you do that because I did post a poll for both of these rugs so that people could vote on which one they liked better. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you can vote on future polls. My next living room makeover video is going to be actually styling things. So styling the entertainment center, putting things on the walls, and then maybe some thrift shopping. So make sure you subscribe so you can see that video. And if you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.